In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize your folders within your team site. And specifically, I'm referring to uh, sites that have more than one users or organizers within them. So something like an office team site or a staff team site or even just a team site that you've um, put together for collaboration. So you can see in this um, folder right here, I've created folders within here. And it's kind of like your shared drive if you think about it. I've created folders by dates, and then I've created folders that are basically going to always stay within this main list right here. They, they don't get organized by dates because these folders here always have the same information. Once I've created these folders by dates, I can then move any of these loan things down below here, these loan files, into these folders so that this root list, they call it, um, stays nice and organized. So in order for me to do that, I just have to go to the file I want to move, click on these three dots called ellipses, and I want to move. Then I get an option of where I want to move it to, and I want to move this to my 2019-2020 form, and I just click move. And I can do multiple selections, say if I want to move these three now all into that 2019 list. I can select them all, click move, select my folder, and then click move. So that works very nicely with single files, but if I want to move a folder, it becomes a little bit more difficult. So what I need to do, because I cannot move a whole folder, what I need to do is I go into my 2019-2020 list. I'm going to create a folder the same name that I'm going to move. Go back to my original list. Open that folder. And I can easily select all my lists under all my files underneath there by clicking on this check mark up top. That will select everything underneath it. My three dots move and then make sure that I'm going into that newly created file that I just made. That will move all those files from this location back to this location. Now what is really cool about housing files within your team site and being able to organize them this way is even though you might have sent the link out to people for them to access this these files within here even if you move them the link still works however if it was in your shared drive and you had someone accessing your your files from the shared drive and you moved it they would never be able to access that file again. So that's one huge advantage of putting um, files in Teams. The other way that you can um, move whole folders at once is actually opening up this file directory in SharePoint. So if I go over, I'm in my general list right here, and if I click on Open in SharePoint, I'm going to see these same folders in another view. And this is kind of like our backdoor storage of everything. And now what I can do is I can select that folder that I would like to move. I click on my ellipses, the three dots right here, and I'm going to click on move. And what that does now is it brings up all sorts of uh, sharing opportunities or moving opportunities for me, not just within my specific team site but I am going to share it within my current library and I want to make sure that I save it within my general channel and my 2019 2020 I select here I click move here and it's saying that I already have this and that's okay and I'm gonna say keep both just for um, demonstration purposes here. So now what I've done is I very easily move this folder without having to 
uh, create a new one, select all the files within, and then share from there. Then what I would do is I would start preparing for the new year. Now that we know that we're going to use this, I would right off the bat create a new folder within here and click create. 